Hi, welcome to my tutorial on how to make an expanding bridge. So uh, for this one, we're going to go ahead and put some lava on the ground, nice and easy. And we'll go ahead and press tab. You can see when we go in the lava, we don't die. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. So go to global parameters, go to controller, go to components. And for this one, we'll go damaging blocks. So we'll go ahead and select lava. There's our lava block and the damage it does, we can do say 50. So now when we go in and touch lava, it kills us, right? Perfect. Um, now we'll go ahead and get a platform. We'll just use this one here. And we'll place that platform down. We'll move this back a bit. And we will bring out a lever or a button or something that the player can push to make the expanding bridge work. Um, okay, so you can see we'll make the platform speed, uh, we'll make it move four. So that's four blocks per second. We don't want it to wait uh, and we don't want it to move in that direction. We want to move it in the other direction uh, and we do four. So what that means is uh, we'll put down a block so I can show an example. I put down four blocks, hold uh, shift, and you can see that this platform is exactly four blocks wide. So when it moves four blocks, it will be exactly where we need it to be. So it's going to move four per second. So it's going to take one second to go from here to here. That's quite important because we need to calculate this. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring that down and we'll move this across so it's at the edge and we'll go ahead and delete this and we'll just put some blocks over here so there's a safety spot okay so when we press tab that's going to move straight away uh, we don't want that to move straight away we want it to not move at all when the game begins so we're going to go put on toggle behavior we're going to turn that to false we'll get rid of the toggle message to none so now when we press tab you can see it's not moving perfect We'll go ahead and chuck some blocks down and add a lever to it. Uh, we'll place that there, we'll rotate it, hold down shift when rotating and hold down shift when moving just to make things snap. Perfect. Get rid of the indicator and the button will say the message to send, we hit edit logic, that's all you can do, is uh, plat.go. So when we push this lever, it will send a message plat.go. And here we will have turn on plat.go. We'll also have the message off, plat one off. Perfect. Now when we press tab and test that out, we push the button. You can see the bridge is moving, but it's not stopping. We need something to turn that off. So go ahead and bring a numpad out. We'll select that and we'll get rid of all the defaults that are on it and give it a health component. Edit the logic. Now we want the instant death message to be plat.go. The death delay will be minus two, so it destroys it straight away. Uh, we can do reset here. We don't need, if you want to reuse it, uh, always do reset. We don't want to see its health. Uh, and the message we want to send when it dies is plat.1.off. And the message we want to send it to is plat.1. So we'll go ahead and send, uh, select our platform and we'll do plat.1 as a tag. So now when we test that out, nothing happens because this dies instantly and it's turning this off straight away so you can see nothing's happening we know this takes one second to move so we'll go ahead and edit the logic and change this down to one so now when we push the button the platform will move and you can see it's come back a bit because the reason for this is after one second it dies there's a dying animation that dying animation takes 0.525 seconds. So we need to calculate for that. So we'll go ahead and select that. 
and we'll go ahead and put 0 0.525 and now when we push the button you can see it's perfect so the diff animation is not 0 0.525 it's 0.475 so that is why we get this perfect alignment now so taking that into consideration we'll go ahead and duplicate the platform we will stack it on top we're going to change this from four to eight so now it's over on that side that's going to take two seconds to get over there and we want plat dot two dot off and we change the tag from plat one to plat two we'll go ahead and duplicate this item now this one it says one but it really is 525 that's what we did for the first one but now we want to add an extra second because it's going to take another second to get there so we do 1.525 and the message we want to send is plat2 and plat.2.off okay we'll just make sure that is on the right one plat2 off, plat2, and plat1 off, plat1. Hold down shift to stack them evenly. Now if we go ahead and push the button, first one turns off, second one turns off. And you can see they are perfect. And that's all you need to do. Um, we'll go ahead and duplicate it again. So duplicate, control D, stack it on top. Uh, we change it from eight to 12, because it's four spaces away. We change it from plat2 to plat.3 and same here plat.3.off and we'll go ahead and uh, I like to make these even so hold shift and this is the last one we use so we'll go ahead and duplicate that with control D and we're going to change that from 1.525 to 2.525 we're going to send that to plat3 and it's going to be plat.3.off. We'll go ahead and test that out. Push the button and all of them move, all of them move, all of them move. And now you've got your expanding bridge. We can do that one more time. So duplicate, hold shift to stack it. We need four now. Plat.4, uh, plat.4.off. And the last one was 12, so we'll make this one 16. And we'll get our last numpad, we'll duplicate it. And we're going to send that to plat4, and it will be plat.4.off. And instead of 2.525, it's gonna be 3.525. And now we test that out. And now we've got our expanding bridge Nice and easy. That's all it is. You can push the button again and it folds back up because we made it all reset. We could push the button again and it expands again. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you have any questions, you can message me on Discord. Have a great day.